Every day, late at night, not okay All I want and I pray All I need are some better days Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So foggy, but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy There's no risk if you don't try at anything So I'ma just get by in everything See you in the next life, have to be a better me I don't think that my head's on straight Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray What's wrong with me? I just feel way Pushing on my chest and it's squeezing Welcome back to my channel everyone. I'm so glad to have you back here today. So today we shall be cutting this irregular shape skirt. It is actually a trendy skirt and it actually turns out very beautiful on anyone that puts it on. So if this is what you would like to learn today, please stay tuned and watch the video till the end. This is actually very easy to make. It took me less than 10 minutes to actually cut and sew the skirt. So please stay tuned and watch to the end. First, we shall be drafting the pattern for the half length of the skirt on a uh, pattern paper first and then we'll transfer to the fabric. So the first thing we need to do is um, to mark out the zip allowance on the back pattern, then we'll cut the back and the front together. So what I'm marking out now is the zipper allowance and I'm marking out one inch after folding the pattern paper into two. So I'm just marking out that one inch which is going to represent the zipper allowance. When I'm done with that, I'll go ahead and fold in the excess which is the zipper allowance. I'll fold it in and then I can take the um up the top part which is the front pattern and place it on it. That way I'll go ahead and cut the back and the front together. The next thing I need to do is to take the half length measurement but to get the half length measurement you need to get the hip measurement. So for every adult or um for an average adult the hip measurement for a high waist skirt is seven inches so from your waist to seven inches that's your upper waist your high waist that's from your navel to seven inch is the hip measurement for an average adult for a high waist skirt so i'm going to be marking out seven inches first which is going to be the hip measurement and then from there we are able to get the half length of the skirt so we are going to be marking out that seven inch first remember it's going to have a band as well and that's why we are using seven inches so if it was not if it does not have a band then we can make it nine inches but for a band skirt that is high waist then we use seven inches for any adult but if it's a child please take the measurement yourself because it depends on the age of the child so for an average adult just use seven inch and that seven inch is what i'm marking which is the hip line so after I'm done with this, then we can go ahead and take the full measurement for the half length. So this is the hip line, as you can see. And then the next thing we need to do now is to add four inch to whatever it is we got for the hip. So we got seven inch in this um, particular pattern, which is because it's an adult skirt. So um, it's for an average adult. So we're going to add four inch. So that's going to be 11 inches. So whatever you get, if you're sewing for a child, whatever you get for the hip, add four inch or three inches, depending on how the child, how small the child is. If, the, if it's a baby, you can just um, subtract and add about two inches. But for an adult, add four inches. So it means it's going to be 11 inches. And that's what we are cutting. And that's going to be the length of the... Um, upper part of the skirt which is the half length of the skirt so let's go ahead and cut out the excess now because this is all we need for this particular skirt so after cutting out the excess then now we can go ahead and draft out the irregular pattern on the skirt but before we do that we'll also measure out um, the round waist and the round hip so the waist divide by four is what i'm marking out now so whatever your waist is just divide by four and mark it out so that's what i'm marking out and do the same for the hip go to the hip and divide your hip by four so say your hip is 40 40 divided by four is going to be 10 don't forget to add seam allowance and don't forget to add seam allowance to your waist as well so that's what i'm marking here and when you get that just um join the points together join the waist to the hip so just join the points. I'm using my free hand. If you have a curved ruler, you can do that. But I'm just very used to using my free hand. So you can and then just extend it from that from the hip to the tip of the skirt. So just extend whatever you get on the hip. Just extend it to the hip of this the tip of the skirt. Sorry. 
so when you have this now now we have our full measurement now we can go ahead and cut out the irregular part of the skirt after cutting out the excess so cut out the excess and then we are almost done like i said this skirt is actually very easy to make once you get the basic measurements it is very easy to make so the next thing we need to do now remember i'm cutting for an adult if you're cutting for a child just take the measurements you need so um you mark, mark out five inches from the waist downwards you mark out five inches or five and a half in my case i use five and a half so if you want you can use five inches if the person is really small but i use five and a half then um from the folded edge to you also mark out the same five and a half so if you're using five inch five inch up from up to down and then from the folded edge five inch but in my case i use five and a half by five and a half so just do it the same way I'm doing it and it will work for you. So all I need to do now is connect the point with a curve. So like I said, if you have a curved ruler or you're a beginner, please use a curved ruler. That's better. But I'm very used to using my uh, free hand and you can see the curved turned out very beautiful. So I'm free. I'm good with my free hand. So just join the point with a curve. And also um, from that same point, join the point from the hip to that same point so join the hip to that same point where your hip line is to that same point so the tip of the hip just join it to the same point where you drew your five and a half and then we are good to go as you can see this is what it's going to look like so all we need to do now is to cut out the excess after cutting out the excess i would show you what it looks like and how you go about it so this is what it looks like don't forget to cut back and front together and when i open it up this is what the skirt is looking like and don't forget to notch it notch the hip line the hip point so that you know where you are going to start um taking your um sewing from that's adding your pleat from so i'm just notching the hip point so don't forget if you're also transferring to the fabric don't forget to notch your hip point so i'm done notching the hip point now this is what it looks like the back looks similar as well just with zipper allowance the only difference between the back and front is that the back has a zipper allowance so this is what it should look like so the next thing we need to do now is to take it and transfer to the fabric and then cut it out and don't forget to cut out your zipper allowance for the back so it does not confuse you as well so the next thing we need to do as you can see i'm just aligning it on the fabric i need to use and then i'll just trace the pattern and go ahead and cut out so as soon as i'm done with that then i will tell you what next to do and please make sure you are cutting the right pattern and if you need to label the front um the front part as front and if you need to label the back you can do that but i think you can actually get it easily because the back has a zipper allowance and the front has no zipper allowance and don't forget to notch don't forget to notch because this is very important that would actually help you determine where your pleat is going to start from so it does not confuse you so from that notch point that's where you start adding your pleat from after joining but you'll see that later in the video so the next thing we need to do now is to we have gone ahead to cut out the back so let me show you how we are going to join the back and the front i'll also be showing you on the sewing machine as well so you need to join the side to side don't make a mistake when you are joining this don't join the zipper allowance to the side so it has to be side to side and that's why you need to notch so after you join it and you close it up this is what it should look like just like it was on the pattern paper so the next thing we need to do now is let's keep this aside and go ahead and cut the back band for the band you are going to use your waist measurement in this case the waist measurement is 26 so the length of this skirt is 26 plus 2 inches which is for the zipper allowance that's 28 and the width is 5 inches and as you can see i already folded it i pressed it with my pressing iron i folded it into two so this is two and a half and when you open it up it's five inches so when you take it to the sewing machine like i said you join the sides do not forget to join the sides so when you join the sides it should align if it does not align it means you are making a mistake probably joining the zipper allowance to the side so also go ahead and join after joining the side you also join the um the band to the top part which is the waist part and as you can see this is what i'm doing i'm just joining i'm attaching 
the band to the waist of the skirt so let me be true and you see what it looks like this is what it looks like after joining the band and the side this is what your skirt should look like if it looks like this then you're correct if it does not look like this then it means there's a mistake somewhere so after doing this the next thing we need to do is to take the measurement so this is what it should look like when you align it back and front this, this is what it should look like so that this way you know your skirt is correct so let's go ahead and take the measurement for the pleats so this is actually a skirt with pleats or gathers if you want to make it gathers you're free if you want to pleat it you're free so both are actually almost the same so to just take the whole measurement you can see where i'm taking my measurements from i started taking my measurement from the end of the bottom part of the zipper allowance and i'm taking it back to that same point and in this case i got 60 that's my full tape measure so i got my full tape measurement that's 60 so what i need to do now is to go ahead and cut out the plate so for the plate i'm going to um uh, minor i'm going to subtract this upper part which is about 12 inches remember we cut 10 inches plus 2 inch band that's 12 inches from the full length and the full length was 40 so uh, after subtracting this upper part, all I need need is 25. So 25, uh, sorry, 28. 28 plus 2 in seam allowance, which is also going to be the folding allowance. And as you can see, I got 30 here. I have 30 here for the length. And for the width, remember we got 60 when we measured round. What we had is 60. So if you want it to be really, really full, you do 60 times 3. That will give you 180. So that will give you a very, very full skirt. But in my case, I used 60 times um, multiplied by 2. That's 120. So 120 is what I used for mine. And as you can see, this the length of this um fabric is 30 inches and the width is 120 inches so that's what i'm going to be pleating around that measurement i made so let's um, take it and i will show you how to pleat it to it so the next thing we need to do now we'll just open it up and let me show you how to pleat it remember i said we started taking our measurement from right under the zipper allowance and that's where we start our pleat from so uh we we'll just show you how i'm going to pleat it and then i'll show you the result as well so i'm going to start from that tip I'll, when you take it to the sewing machine you start from the tip and just pleat it pleat it as tightly as you can or if it's you are making gathers make it as tightly as you can so it will be full so just pleat it round to that same edge so when you are done i will show you this is what it should look like when you are done and if it, i like i told you i used 120 for mine that's whatever i got that's times or multiply by two that's 120 and that's what i used for mine so if you want to make yours fuller than this use um whatever you get multiply by three also do not forget to add your zipper allowance to the back and then close it up and your skirt will be ready this is what the skirt turned out to be this um, the mannequin is actually not even showing how beautiful it, it is because the mannequin has no hip at all but it actually turned out really beautiful my client when she tried it out it turned out really 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 beautiful so if you like if you liked the video please do not forget to comment share 